Hey everyone, welcome to Coder Journey. As you might know, in this series, we are exploring the awesome new features added in Visual Studio 2026. Uh, the features that help us be more productive, the features that boost your coding workflow. Before we start, make sure to hit subscribe and like if you enjoy these coding tutorials. Today, we're diving into a really handy feature, which is called file encoding. The file encoding displayed in the editor margin, something that uh, VS 2026 offers. And you know, it kind of helps you uh, using a simple context menu to change the encoding of your files. So let's see what this can do and how it can save time and headaches. Imagine this, you're working on a project that handles user data from multiple countries. You open a CSV file with names and addresses and suddenly you see weird characters instead of letters with accents. So let me do that something. I'm gonna add a new item. I'm gonna call this uh, data source, data source, that's CSV. And I am going to paste some code here. So as you can see, the encoding is off in this code file. And if the encoding of your file is not correct if you don't see the you know the characters uh, the way they should appear uh, if you see you know gibberish instead of your characters this is where the new encoding you know uh, feature for the files come in handy if you take a look at this portion of the editor you see the encoding used in this file so this is like an indicator in the bottom right margin of your file in this the file that you have opened in this tab and it kind of tells you the current encoding of the file and of course you can you know click that encoding margin and a context menu will appear reopen with you know encoding you can go ahead and open your you know code file with a specific encoding and uh, you can also save the file with a you know correct encoding if you want you can click on the you know encoding to save the file to reopen the file with a specific encoding and then to you know verify whether that encoding works for you or not so i'm gonna i don't know pick one of these i'm gonna click ok and then i'm gonna put my code here again again it doesn't work i have tested with a couple of you know different encodings and now this one works utf8 with BOM, this one works. I'm gonna delete the code and I'm gonna paste this one more time and I can see the correct encoding being used here. So this feature kind of ensures your data uh, is readable and consistent across different system. So Visual Studio, uh, again, added this to the code file that you open in the editor. It kind of lets you control the encoding of your file another cool feature is that you can control which items are shown here you just need to right click here and you see you know different items uh here so you've got line endings you have tab space encoding selection and different things are you know uh, added here if i for example click on zoom control the zoom control that was available here on this part of the screen disappears and I can bring that up by right clicking and press and click zoom control so this is this is again a very nice uh, little feature that can help us be more productive and that's it again a small feature with a big impact especially if you're working with files containing special characters uh, on multiple languages now you can see the encoding at a glance change it on the fly and avoid messy characters as always, if you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. Never miss an episode of A Coder's Journey. Comment below with your favorite way to use the encoding margin in your projects. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy coding. See you in the next one.